Hello, it's Mark from the Fury Flight Control Project. Today, we're going to show you how to wire up LED lights. Now, these are WS2812 programmable 5 volt lights. So, what that means is you can program the lights to be different colors to do like a Knight Rider thing for those people that know what Knight Rider is. And this actually one actually has a horn too. But so basically, you need one of these your Fury Flight Controller and some wire. On the back of your light board, and they may be different if you get it from a different supplier, but basically it's going to have the same symbols and words. You've got ground, D in, which is like your that's signal in, 5 volts. These are 5 volt lights. 5 volts and ground. So what you can do is you can daisy chain these together. So you put your, I'll show you that at the end here. So basically what you're going to do is you're going to take, you need to get 5 volts off your Fury board. So again, remember, anywhere it says 5 volts is 5 volts. So you got, here's a ground and 5 volts. You've got another one down here, ground and 5 volts. There's one on this side, ground and 5 volts. So you want to pick off ground and 5 volts. And those connect to ground and 5 volts. Not rocket science there. Now on the bottom of the Fury board is your LED out. Let's see, this is why I do this. It's easy to pop open. All right, it's on the buzzer side. All right, so remember, on the Fury, the labels are above the pads. So right underneath buzzer positive says LED. And look, there's a ground and five volts right there. So you can take five volts off of that. So you take a wire from your LED pad, and that goes in your D in. And that's going to be like the signal wire. That's the signal wire to the light to tell them what, what color to be. Now, if you wanted to daisy chain these together, you take another set of lights, wire them next to this one. So you're going to go D out, signal out to the D in, out to in. Then you can go right across here to 5 volts and ground. So server wire works pretty good for this. Uh, and then the lights are in order that you wired them. So the first one in, if this is your in, this is light number 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. If you had another chain, it would be 7, 8, 9 or whatever. So that's the order that they go in. Remember, these need 5 volts. 12 volts is too much for them. So then you would connect those with 5 volts and plug it in the clean flight and configure however it lights. Now just be warned here, these lights can pull up to 80 milliamps per LED. So if you have, on this board, there's 6 lights. If you have them all white, which is the, takes the most current, that can be 480 milliamps. On this ROSD, the 5 volt regulator is only rated at 500. So definitely use an external power source, a different 5 volt if you're going to do that many lights. You'll know you'll have too many lights on when you arm the quad and the lights are on and then it'll just reset. That means you've got too much current. So that's a good way. Also, just something to take in consideration here. If you have an SD card in this SD card reader, not if it's running black box, but just if you have it in, if it's running black box too, but if you have a card in here, that's 100 milliamps. So if you were running these six lights plus this, that's 580 milliamps. Plus you still got to remember you got to power your board somehow. So that can get up there. So if you're going to run a lot of lights, definitely use a Palulio regulator, two to three, um, two amps, two to three amps, something like that. If you have any questions, visit, uh, visit us at thefuryflightcontroller.com and I picked up these lights at twodogrc.com.